you are listening. A VK to Mike Romeo X ray. Yeah, can I just turn the beam out a little bit? I pointed towards JA. Right, yeah, horrible conditions, but you never know your luck. VK to Mike Romeo X ray. Right, I got that right. Hi, name's Chris. Charlie Hotel, Romeo, India, Sierra. And I said on the afternoon because the uh, conditions are pretty poor. And I'm in Adelaide. How copy you? Thanks for the call. VK to Mike Romeo X ray, VK 5 South Australia. Yeah, VK5SA, VK2MRX. Mate, we've got you at a 5 and 9, um, running about 100 watts here, um, and I'm actually just in the process of uh, testing the SWR uh, on a new antenna that I've only got up about, uh, mate, should be lucky to be up about 10 feet. Um, it's a Mosley 32, uh, or a TA32, one of those uh, uh, dual element or two element uh, tri-band antennas. Uh, because the uh, conditions picked up last weekend and it got me excited, I chucked up an ad on uh, VK Ham uh, chasing a tribander. And uh, there was a fellow down in Sydney. I'm in. I'm located in Newcastle, so it's about uh, an hour and forty away. Uh, shot me an email and said he had one uh, that he bought two years ago and had never taken it out of the box. Uh, so it's uh, well than well less than half price that I picked it up, uh, mate. And I'm just basically coming in to do some tests, shooting a quick video. Uh, so this will actually be up on YouTube a bit later on. Um, and uh, heard you put out a call, and uh, thought, mate, while we're doing a test, we might as well make a quick contact uh, while we're at it. Um, VK five SA from VK two Mike Romeo X Ray. Uh, yeah, Roger Chris Bravo Romeo Echo Tango Tango. Got it in one, mate. I'm guessing you're on uh, QRZ, are you? Ah, uh, you're a clever bloke. You really are. I think I saw that ad. I think the antenna is pointed roughly north. Uh, don't quote me on that. I've literally got it up on a small push-up mast to do some tuning on it. Um, I've just got it at the uh, the recommended settings at this point, uh, and and have only I've tuned up on uh, 20, and I just moved to 15 to, to detect check the SWR there. Uh, Ren and you and I obviously haven't made it to 10 yet. Um, so mate, I, I don't even know if it's pointed in your direction or not. Um, I, I think they seem to suggest that the, the, the side rejection is not that great on these, but yet to be tested. But, well, I'm going to leave it there, Chris. I'm going to have to continue on, mate, before it gets too dark here, and I think we're about to get some rain there as well. Uh, so I want to get this sorted. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, protected the coax or anything, so I certainly don't want any rain to get into it and bugger it once I'm uh, still setting it up. So uh, thanks for uh, putting out the call there, Chris. Um, that's, that's awesome, mate. Um, obviously the band conditions are better. Um, I don't know how much of it's band conditions and uh, how much of it is antenna, mate. But uh, yeah, happy to make the contact. Nice to talk to you. And uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity. VK5SA, VK2MRX. Yeah, the front to back pretty ordinary on those. Um, as it is on the hex plate, the hex plate is not a bad hex plate. Um, it's not too bad. I think it's a bit of a Yeah, cheers. Thanks, mate. Seven three. All the best, Chris. <laughs> Look, that's pretty good. That's a good start for an antenna. Uh, VK five. Let's go and stick him into uh, into the log, and I'll tell you uh, the distance that we just covered. Um, so those are some pretty big signals, and and like I said, that that's some of the biggest signals I've seen on fifteen for quite some time. Uh, the bands did come up uh, last week. Um, and uh, there was quite a few contacts made on uh, 15 and 10. I actually got into Germany on 15 uh, using the, the loop, in fact. Uh, so that was about 16,000 Ks running about 100 watts into the loop. Um, now let's have a quick look and see. VK5SA. Okay, just to give you an idea, because obviously Australia is a pretty big place, uh, we're talking about 1,230 kilometres. Uh, so that's not a bad contact with that sort of signal. Again, we're, we're not even 10 feet off the ground. So that's, that's good contact. Now let's get back to this and uh, just check the SWR on 10. This is the one I'm most interested in. What we get. Okay, that's not what I wanted to see. Oh, here we go. Um, 
All right, I'm, I'm hoping to be down at 490, seems to get the most activity around here um, and, and seems to be internationally for uh, SSP uh, sideband. So I want to be fairly low around there. It's creeped up uh, from a 1.5, let's call it a 1.7, 1.7.5, 8 even. Um, so that's pretty good. Uh, up to 160, let's go to 200. Start that again. And okay, she's dropping. We've got a dip there. Um, so under 1.5 from 28140, we're up to 28260, and we're down about a 1.3, call it. Uh, let's go three. This is a big bend, so this might take a while. Feel free to skip through. Okay, we're dropping down nicely there. Okay, we're down to about a 1.1, 1.2, I think. Uh, at 28,360. Okay, still coming down. Nice. Um, all right, so we look like we're about a one to one on 28,460, which is the right hand side there, uh, from about a 1.1, 1, 1, 1 to 2 at 28,340. Good. This is where we're interested. And we obviously want to check out the FM segment as well, uh, 29,200. Um, let's have a look, see what we get. Oh, look at that. That is ideal, absolutely ideal. Um, the center frequency there is 28500, so you can see it's flat at 1 to 1 from basically 28440 all the way through to 28560. Just speed this up a little bit, guys, and we'll make a bigger step. We'll go 50k, see what we get there. Well, wow. okay, so. Uh, we are flat at one to one to up to about 28,700. Um, goes above 1.5 at say around about, I don't know, 28,900, give or take. Uh, now, keeping in mind the red uh, is above the 1.5 line there. So we're from 28,900 to 29,700 on the right hand side. No, oh, okay, not what we wanted, um, but uh, anyway, um, so 21, uh, still about 2.1, it dips under 2 uh, at around about 29, you know, 350 something, jumps up, um, looks like off the chart, 29.4, tend not to use that area anyway, 29.2 is um, FM calling frequency here in Australia, I believe. Um, the other thing I would have liked is somewhere around 29.6, uh, which is where we've got a whole bunch of uh, FM repeaters. Uh, so that might make a difference. Anyway, um, let's let's actually see whether we can tune those ones. So 29.6. Um, see what she does. Okay, well, she didn't like it too much, but it's, it's come up with a solution. Now, that's over 3.0. Um, what it is, I don't know, because you can't see off the top of there. Um, but certainly uh, being over the top there, uh, the internal tuner of the 20, uh, 7300 is only meant to tune 3 to 1 downwards. Uh, but that's obviously proven that it, it's gone outside of that. Uh, so that's interesting. You can put it in an emergency mode to, uh, I think, you can put out 50 watts on anything up to 10 to 1. So I want to bring you in on something here. Uh, and what I found interesting was I jumped up here to 6. Let's just have a look at the SWR here. Uh, so 51700, we've got uh, under 2. So obviously that's tunable. Um, watch what happens though. Get to 52 and she's coming down. So we're under 2.2 uh, to 1. And she keeps coming down. Uh, at 52.300, we're on about 1.5. Okay, um, so there we are at 53.2, 1.5. And she starts to go back up. And flattens out there a little bit at the end. Now that's 53.8. Um, so as far as 52 to 54, we're pretty much under 2 to 1. Uh, so I found that very interesting. And let's see what we get here. So you'll see it's about 1.2 maybe, 
uh, at 50.200. Um, it drops down to about now 50 decimal 250, down to 1 to 1. Creeps up and just goes over the 2 to 1 at around about, I don't know, 57. And what you'll see, you'll see, sometimes it's um, it's interesting that you'll have a higher top of that and all of a sudden it'll just dip. Um, so we're down under 1.5, coming up to 51.2. What we might do is rerun that scan, just make sure we're giving it long enough to actually do a reading. Yep, there we are. There we go. So that's... Um, 50 decimal 100, uh, sorry, 900, basically. Uh, the center point's 51, 200, and uh, 51, 500 there at the end. So that's, uh, you can see this line here, that's uh, your, your two SWR. So, yeah, very impressive. Um, interested to see uh, how that actually works uh, in the real world, and uh, whether we can actually use this uh, when there's some six meter openings, and uh, see what sort of results we get. Anyway, just thought you might find that interesting. All right, interesting. Uh, so there we go, guys. Uh, so pretty happy with those SWR readings. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to duck back out, uh, tidy it up a little bit, maybe stick it on the rotator, and come back in and have a bit of a play.